everybody and welcome to episode 17 of the tracking series where I am three weeks post-op for my breast augmentation. To give you guys a little update on the recovery process with that, I just had my three-week post-op appointment with my surgeon the other day and I got the most amazing news. I'm officially cleared to start hitting legs in the gym again, which blows my mind that not only am I over four months into this tracking series, but I had my surgery already and I'm already granted access to get back into the gym. I just feel like time is flying and I'm so blessed and grateful that the recovery process is going smoother than expected. I've also been noticing that there's a lot of new faces that I've stumbled upon my YouTube channel Specifically from the video of me announcing that I got a breast augmentation So I will say if you're planning on getting a breast augmentation My absolute top advice to you would be get in the best shape that you can Clean up your diet and just try to stick to whole foods as best as you can Get daily exercise in If you're not a gym goer then just make sure that you're being active throughout your days Going on walks and just getting a little sweated and getting your heart rate up every now and again And drinking a ton of water My surgeon was telling me that I'm healing a little bit quicker than the average and that's most likely because of the physical state that my body was in going into the surgery it's allowing me to bounce back a lot quicker and I've also been noticing that in my scars healing how quickly my implants were able to drop and how quickly the pain was subsiding having not taken any of the pain medication right after my surgery so even though I was cleared to start training legs two days ago I wanted to give myself the rest of this week and just really take the time to ease back into it I wanted to get through Thanksgiving and really enjoy my family that's in town and not stress about trying to fit in a leg day that I didn't even even know I was going to be able to do. So I decided to give myself the entire month of November four weeks off from the gym to allow my body to just reset and recover as best as it can and then hit the ground running on the first Monday of December which happens to be in like three days. So in episode 18 of the tracking series you guys are going to see my very first workout. It's probably going to be very low impact mostly machines and body weight exercises if anything. My coach is going to have me do three leg days per week and on those three gym days I will also be doing 25 minutes of either the Stairmaster or an incline walk. And in addition to that, I will be doing 10,000 steps per day, so seven days a week outside of the gym. Also to clarify things, if I'm doing 25 minutes of an incline walk inside of the gym, that does not count towards my step count outside of the gym. The 10,000 steps outside of the gym is completely separate from the cardio that I do inside of the gym. And for my upper body, I'm gonna have to kind of forget about it for now, but I'll probably start easing back into that with like my back, my biceps, and my triceps closer to the end of December in another like three to four weeks. And now going into my check-ins, I have lost 2.2 pounds in one one week. In seven days, I lost 2.2 pounds. And I just want you guys to know that my macros have been sitting at 1,650, which is about 350 calories less than when I was doing like full training in the gym before my breast augmentation. Those macros feel great for me. So I'm not under eating by any means. I genuinely believe that the reason I'm dropping weight so fast at this point is because my body is starting to lose its muscle. Unfortunately, I've definitely noticed that my glutes are getting a lot flatter. That's okay because I know that once I get back into the gym and start hitting legs again, once I get that blood flow into my muscles. I just know that the muscle memory is gonna have it bounce back just like that. So I'm not letting that stress me out, but I will say my waist is looking snatched. I definitely feel softer overall. I feel like the definition like in my back and in my shoulders, it's starting to kind of wither away. But like I said, I know I will bounce back from it and I'm really happy mentally that taking the last month off from the gym and not training at all. I'm really happy that my body is getting skinnier rather than gaining weight because that's something that I was really struggling with mentally, not knowing what to expect going into not training at all because I've been lifting in the gym for literally four years straight and I haven't taken more than probably three days off in a row max. So obviously you can understand a little bit kind of where my mental was at being nervous to stop lifting. So if anything, this is kind of like a little unexpected turn of how my coach and I plan on getting me into the low 150s. I'm hoping that I can still drop down to 150 pounds flat to achieve that lean physique that we're going for in an overall healthy balanced way. So this is going to be a very exciting next few weeks, seeing how my body continues to transform as I get back into routine. And the last note that I'll make taking the last four weeks off from the gym is it has given me a different perspective on my training style. I used to feel like I had to work out six to seven days per week and go absolutely balls to the wall as hard as I could in the gym or else I was going to lose my gains. So having gone four weeks of doing absolutely nothing, obviously I don't plan on taking this much time off probably ever again, but it's nice to know mentally that I can maintain the physique that I have just by training like three to four days in the gym and then just being active throughout my day to day. So 
much of having a good physique comes from nutrition by me not lifting in the gym and just sticking to my meal plan and focusing on eating those clean ingredients and the whole foods high protein diet my body has been maintaining the muscle really well just by not lifting at all so now once i start easing back into it and i do those three leg days per week i'm really going to enjoy the other four days of the week that i have off by scheduling walks to go on with my friends pouring into my work more and just overall kind of slowing down i feel like i put so much pressure on myself to do as much as i can every single day to really push myself and be the best version of myself and become one percent better every day but i just feel like mentally it does get really exhausting but i never turn it off because i have that business mindset where i feel like i just should always be doing more so during this time of me focusing on my recovery it's definitely broadened my perspective on being a lot more present and a lot more intentional with my time and not spreading myself through so thin throughout the day. But anyways, those are my updates for week 17. I'm about to go meet my brother at a coffee shop to get a bunch of work done for the day. I packed some of my food with me that I'm gonna eat there. And then we're gonna go walk by the beach and get some steps in and then go home and probably just cook the rest of my food. So let's get into it. What are your goals for 2025, Julian? My goals for 2025 are the following. Publish my fourth book, which is my second romance. I don't care about anything else that happens. We'll stay fit. Otherwise, I can't be Nikki's brother, because you gotta be fit to be in this family. Facts. Because not only do we want to live a good life, but we want to live a long life. If you want to do the same, you should sign up for my sister's eight-week program. <laughs> yeah. Keep doing her workouts. Nikki, what are your goals? I would like to travel more. I think it would be really cool to try to do like a trip every other month domestic, go see some of my friends that live in other states. That's one of my top priorities. And also just get back into the swing of things with this whole recovery with my breast augmentation. I want to get back <laughs> I want to get back into the gym and I want to really lock in from January 1st through the year. Travel and be fit and just live a prosperous life and exploring God's creation as best as I can. Nice. Thanks. I'm gonna need a coffee now. Really long line. I might wait to get a coffee. So before we get into it for today, I had to get my coffee. This is an iced almond milk latte with honey and cinnamon. If you guys have been around for a while, you guys know that this is my tried and true. I'm obsessed with this coffee drink. My coach allows me to drink it until it hinders my progress, and it hasn't done that in the last 17 weeks. So I drink one of these almost every single day. I would say probably five to six times per week. Anytime I'm really working at a coffee shop, this is my go-to. But as it's starting to get colder outside, I kind of want to try it warm but I also don't want to be let down so until the day comes when I end up trying this in the hot version I have to give you guys my two cents in my review to see if it tastes just as delicious as the ice version and this place makes it so good Yeah, I can't help it. <laughs> 